Hi guys, so today we will start with a new question, question number 13, which is to accept the number of terms and find the sum, uh, sum of sine series. So let's just copy this text and move on to our text editor. So let's just paste it here. And what we will do is, let's, uh, so first of all, we will discuss what is the sum of sine series. So basically, uh, sine A, then plus sin a plus 0 uh, sorry b then again plus sin of a plus 2b again plus sin of a plus 3b and then up to sin a plus n minus 1 b this is the uh, basic sine series uh, sum of sine series so what can we do is we will just print the n terms such that uh, n is given to us so we can start from sin a then plus a b 2 b 3 b dot 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 up to infinity so this is the basic sine series so we will first of all take an integer n so let's just take n as an integer in input and we'll ask enter the number number of terms required in sine series so now we will get an n now what can we do we can see here a uh, simple logic of this generalized formula here the n is started from 0 up to this thing so we can directly apply a for loop for i in range and range would be up to n so either instead of taking n we can take num of underscore term and let's just replace this n by that and here instead of i we can take n so the generalized formula remains the same now what we can do is we'll just print uh, let's just take a format string as we are going to update some things so sign and then the brackets remain constant then a plus here comes an format specifier which would be n minus 1 okay uh, it would be n and then the b and at last we would print plus so let's just execute this and the end would be equal to so as end is uh, defaultly set to new line we will set it to empty string so now it is asking for number of sign terms what we can give is 10 so sign a plus uh, so we can add some spacing so that it looks nice so let's just again take 10 yeah so sine a plus 0 b 1 b 2 b 3 b 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so at last this uh, plus is not required and for the first term 0 b is not required we can only write sine a so what we can do is here we can put a condition if n equal equal to 0 what we will do is we will directly print the sine of a so we'll print this string so then uh, it won't effect the first term then what we can do is we can start this uh, yeah so then we would continue as uh, we have printed this thing so continue after continuing if uh, the number is greater than then then this should work fine so instead of adding let's just keep as it is and check so let us give it 10 and we can see sign a then a new line then again this thing so here we have to perform an end equal to empty string so yeah so now we are getting but then also uh, we are here not getting any plus sign so what we can do is we can shift this plus before the sign so plus and this so now let's just execute now we can get sign a plus sign 1b sign 2b 3b 4b up to 9 so now it works fine so like this only this is just for printing the terms if we want to calculate that value what we can do is uh, we can take the same thing let's just comment this out 
okay before commenting let's just copy and then comment and then let's just paste this again so now instead of uh, printing this value what we can do is uh, we can take the actual values so we would not require this print thing we will take a sum variable uh, or instead of sum underscore of so underscore sign plus equals some value so we will define this value just a second before that we will initialize this sum of sign so sum of sign and equal to zero so as we are doing the sum we would take the starting value as zero and then uh, add sum of sign to each value so before this what we have to do we have to take the sign value so python doesn't consist an inbuilt sign method we have to import something so we will import a module called as math so import maths and now we can calculate for sign so math dot sign is the method by which we can calculate the sign so in this sign we have to take a plus n okay we can directly take n into b so n would be the value here which would be ranging from 0 to uh, number of terms minus 1 and b would be something another so we can also take the value for that a equal to int input can take enter initial angle and then let's just also provide the a thing so initial angle a and then let's just copy this for the variable b so what we can do is let's just paste this and instead of a we can change this to b enter initial instead of initial what we can type is enter incremental which is b yeah so now it will ask for number of terms let's just take 10 then the enter initial angle initial angle let's just take uh, let's take 15 and incremental angle would be 30 so okay we forgot to print this thing so let's just print the sum of sign so sum of sign up to uh, let's take a format string and terms is so instead of n we would take this number of terms here and let's just put a f then term is uh, okay so here would be the sum of sign so let's just copy this and paste it here so let's just execute uh, let's just take 50 number of terms and initial value would be let's say 15 again and incremental value would be 30 so the sum of sign up to 50 terms uh, having this this a and b is this thing so these are the alpha and beta initial and incremental angle this incremental angle can also be called by difference name so this is the basic general working of sum of sign series so if you all uh, if you again want the thing the printing thing what we can do is we can take this thing again and we can what we can do is uncomment this after uncommenting instead of a we can use a format string so a directly and then here also instead of a we can take the format string or we can directly calculate a plus n b so a plus n into b so this should also be fine let's just execute this and and okay what we can do is we can do the same thing in the for loop above for loop also why to waste why to use an extra for loop so we'll go on printing this and then at last print the sign uh, sum okay so before this we will also provide a new line because this is going to end at the current line so if we execute now 10 let's just take 30 and initial angle would be 10 incremental so 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 110 120 would sum up to this value so this is how it works
so this was all for this question how to find the sum of uh, n terms sum of sign series for n terms so let's meet in a next video